Hi everyone, I've got a tutorial for you today on the alternating cable cast on. This is a great cast on for working in one by one rib. I really like it for that. It gives an edge that is similar to a tubular cast on, but it is much simpler to work. If you are already familiar with the cable cast on, this is just uh, adding an extra step in there to create the appearance of alternating knit and purl stitches on your cast on edge. So we're just gonna start with a slip knot on our needle. Uh, the other wonderful thing about this cast on is that you don't have to measure off a length of yarn like you would with a um, long tail cast on. You're working directly from your ball of yarn. All right, so we put um, a slip knot on our needle for our first stitch. Then we're going to knit into the first stitch in the front and the back, hopefully, to give us two stitches. Now we're gonna start the fun part. So you may be familiar, and you can see already this has like a, a knit and a purl appearance. Uh, so if you're already familiar with the cable cast on, the first step is gonna be the same. You're going to insert your right needle between, in between the two stitches that are on your left hand needle. Then you're gonna wrap your working yarn around that and pull through. And then you place that stitch back on your left hand needle. Now you've got three. The next step is what makes it a little bit different. We've got a knit, a purl, a knit. Now we want a purl. So we're gonna reach behind, insert again the needle between the first two stitches. So not into this stitch. You're gonna reach behind and insert in between the two stitches. Let's see if we can get a little close up there. Your yarn is in front. Then you're going to wrap the yarn around your right hand needle and pull through on the reverse side. And then slip that stitch onto the left hand needle. Knit, purl, knit, purl. Okay, and you're just gonna keep going like that until you have cast on whatever number of stitches you need. So again, first to create the knit stitch, you're going to insert your right hand needle in between the first two stitches on your left needle. Yarn is in back, wrap the yarn around, pull through between those two stitches and place on your left hand needle. Then to make the next one, we're gonna have the yarn in front of our right needle and we're going to from the back, insert the right needle, and you can see I'm kind of using my thumb to make sure we're, we're getting this in the right spot. Insert that right hand needle between the first two stitches from the back, wrap it around, pull the yarn through on the back side, and then slip that stitch onto your left hand needle. All right, I'm gonna demonstrate one more time then I'm gonna cast on a few more and I'm gonna start working in ribs so you can see how it looks. So one more time, right needle in between, first two stitches on the left needle, yarn in back, wrap around and pull the yarn through and place on the left needle. Then yarn in front, insert needle from the back between the first two stitches, wrap the yarn around, pull through to the back, and place on the left needle. And when I'm doing this, I try not to pull these new stitches too tightly especially when the next one I'm gonna work is that purl, so that I have a little bit more space to insert that needle in between the two stitches. So 
So try to keep this a bit loose. You don't need to have a death grip on your stitches. Right, knit, purl, and now I'm going to do some work in a one by one rib so I can give you guys a peek at how that looks. Okay, I have worked just a few rows in one by one ribbing, and I think now you can get a nice view of how the cast on looks. So you can see these knit stitches basically blending seamlessly into the edge, almost like uh, you would see with a tubular cast on. Um, this is firm, but still flexible. And regardless of which side you're looking at, you still get a really nice edge that looks um, a little bit more, at least in my opinion, um, tidy than what it would look like if you were doing a one by one rib from a long tail cast on. So again, I really like this for, in particular, if you are working a top down sweater that does not have you pick up the collar afterward, but instead has you knitting all the way down from the collar, I really like this kind of cast on in that situation. I just think it gives it a much neater edge than that traditional long tail cast on. Uh, and it is much, much less fiddly than a tubular cast on, which again is a really nice uh, kind of tidy professional look, but a little bit more uh, time has to be invested for that. And it's a bit more fiddly. So alternating cable cast on, great for working in a one by one rib a neat, tidy edge for your knitting projects.